I'm a goalkeeper coach. Firstly, I, I, I coach the keepers every day. I, I, I love my job. It's a, it's a pleasure to go to work and to work with some good goalkeepers. I'm lucky to do that and to learn off some good people at the club. Um, so that's my job. Also, I'm also the kit man, so I put the kit out for the players, match day kit, pack all that, training kit. So that's my other job. And also, I take the reserves as well at the moment. I'm lucky to, to, to work and to learn off some really good coaches. I've got, obviously, you know, I spoke about Dave Moore, someone I've known for a few years, and I actually played with Dave you know, about 10 years ago, I think, some games, and he was just was a fantastic character. And I can't speak highly enough of him, how he's helped me, helped me sort of grow as a coach, the advice he gives me, the honesty he is with you, how honest he is with you. And so he, he's been a massive support to me, and obviously the gaffers as well are both really supportive, and again, you can always go to them for advice. A normal day, like it's this morning, I usually get in about, about 9 o'clock, um, get a cup of coffee, look at my sessions, see what I've got to do that day. Um, and then, usually then it's, it's the, the strength, strength training for the goalkeepers. We have to do that in the morning, we have the sit-ups at the start, and then obviously we go training and work on every aspect of goalkeeping, you know, um, whether it's reaction saves, long distance shots, technical foot and feet and hands work, whatever it is, and then watch them in the games, take them afterwards maybe. And then there's always a gym session in the afternoon, which I'd be a goalkeeper fitness one or, or whatever. And then, obviously, depending on what day it is, I'm getting the kit ready for the match day as well. When you see him making mistakes, that, that's what I find tough. Because if you see him, you've worked hard all week, they'd give you everything they've got, and they're, and they're making a mistake, and you, they come for you for answers, I suppose. That's, that's your relationship with the goalkeepers. Then when they, they have made a mistake, maybe, and they... they they want to know why, and you're that person to explain why and make sure it don't count to the next game. Uh, and also, when they've made that mistake, I, I take it personal as well. That's, that I can help that. And what have I, what am I doing the week to make that, make sure that doesn't happen again? Um, so that's that's definitely the worst bit. When you see someone working hard all week, making a mistake, then your job is then to pick them up and get them out of the next game. Thanks, 
guys are a goalkeeper. I'm concerned what you'll get from But he's, he's crazy as well. So, he's, and I'll be honest with you, he's not great in the cold. <laughs> so, what Phil Dobbit see is every single training session, every single game. Constant. Come on, Macca. Come on, Constant. it's okay. <laughs> So all I do on here, I've got my, got my sessions on here, every day, I log every day, every session I do. Um, so sort of like today I'm doing a handling and footwork session, just a, a day tomorrow, it's a day tomorrow, game tomorrow, so handling and footwork, quick fire stuff. Uh, I'm going to see what I'm going to do now. So. <laughs> Um, obviously, I think Greg's come in and done ever so well. You know, he's come in and we're looking for a number two goalkeeper to push Macker on, and he's definitely done that. Um, I think he should be playing at some. He should be playing at this level without a doubt. But he's unlucky at the minute. I've got Rod James in front of him, who's done, done ever so well. And I think because James is playing in the team week in, week out, and impressing week in, week out, I'd, I would say him because he's he's a hard worker. He's a good goalkeeper. He's mature as a goalkeeper as well, which is really important. To, you know, we always know he can make great saves. You know, he's got he's fantastic shots to the ball. He's more than that. He's, he's got a good. He kicks a nice ball. He's very composed in in difficult situations. So I think he's done ever so well. I'm really really pleased with him. Very fast. I won 14, um, sort of in the centre of excellence with John Cock, who was a manager. He was a manager at the time and um, came through the youth system from 14 earlier. And my mum and dad took me down to Sorrel Gas when I was, must have been eight to do all that. So um, obviously, they, they, they was a massive support on me, to be able to support me through my, my early life and everything, really. I think that we I got, on my first stint, I must have played. Six or seven, I think, which is not many, but obviously I got my injury when I was 21. So, um, and obviously got me then I come back. Obviously, one of the coach and played maybe another 10, was it? So something like that. Not a, not a massive. I wish I'd played so much more, but obviously the injury sort of stopped me from doing that. And it's a club I support as a, as a kid, and um, to actually play for them, and especially a goalkeeper to run towards your home fans and. Was was I never forget that, and especially when I played recently, was was you know, again a dream come true. So it's all I wanted to do when I grow up to play for great players for Grimsby Town, is actually play for them and, and get the support I got off the fans was was immense. You, you train so hard as a child, and then you grow up and you're YTS, and that's hard. And first year pro, that's hard, and try to get me a break and actually do okay was was I think a memorable memorable achievement for me. I went alone to Scunthorpe, which was good. I think I was like. Just before I got injured, I went in there, played about five games for them, which was a good experience. I went and played some first team football, and I was only 20, so that was, that was good. Um, and then after, after Grimsby, I went to Boston for a year, but I've got to be honest, I was, my shoulder was quite bad then. I was just trying to get by for a couple of years just to see if I could keep on playing. More than I didn't, I got told to retire, but I didn't believe that. I thought I could keep on doing it, which was a bit obviously heartbreaking at the time so but I tried to keep on playing with Boston, Stevenage, Kettering, a few other clubs but I wasn't you know, the train every day, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. This kicked my shoulder when I was at Grimsby and I was 20, 21 at the time, made a save in a game, dislocated it and I never really got back from that, I mean I think I went to see a specialist, he had an operation on it, me, I've got no shoulder socket left I don't think apparently, no cartilage. And I broke away some of the bone in there as well, so it's not not great, and that's what stopped me eventually. Oh, Muscat gets away, does he? Onto that left foot again, emblem. Oh, brilliant! 
brilliant save by Crowlton. Palm of the hand over the bar. Uh, so he's, he's, like I say, he's, he gets up at sort of six in the morning. I mean, me and Daniel take it in turns to get up. <laughs> so it can be quite difficult, but because he's so great and he just runs around and, you know, we're, we're quite happy with that, mate, aren't we? So. Yeah. <laughs>